Said to the overall team, I guess. Um, and this coming Sunday, I'm looking at a particular passage which talks about. Uh, he's talking about a thorn in his flesh, whatever that might be. Was it a physical sickness? Was it a nagging wife? Uh, but at any rate, uh, and the interesting thing is, three times you pray that it might be removed, but God said no. My grace is sufficient for you. I said, oh, God doesn't answer prayers the way we want, but it gives us nonetheless strength to survive. Hey, okay. no, what shall I say? I shall say that some of John and Jonathan's friends seem to be um, uh, atheists, and I will talk about the irrationality of that. As so Emmanuel Kant once said, two things convince me of the existence of God. The starry sky above and the inner law with it. Where do we get our sense of morality from? You see? Um, I, mean, I, I have no idea what the point. I would say that, but that's quite the uh, context in which I might say, talk about some yeah, certain, the younger generation of academics. I don't know, because I should begin to prepare you, sir. There are certain sort of things, ideas pop through your mind. But uh, the key is, when you begin, you always have to say something which uh, catches people's attention. If you lost them within the first three sentences, you may as well have started. So do you, do you usually so, start with an anecdote, then? Or a joke, or something, which it, it then has a point. Like I said, the last sermon I preached before I left was about pirates and pirate parties and treasure hunts. Which then they, because people are always fascinated when you talk about your kids, provided you don't, I was, I would, I'd have to care for what I said, but they, they will listen. <laughs> When I preach, I always use PowerPoint. With a, with a verse or a quote? Oh, there is. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I give my sermon to someone with PowerPoint for me on Thursday. So I always make sure that I give it before Thursday. So the entire thing is up, word for word, or just pull, you just choose certain just quotations? Just quote right. Okay. And then it's. Uh, the, the, the sermon is downloadable immediately after the morning service, um, and uh, it also goes up. The, the hard copy of the text goes up as well on the website. And do people access it? It's amazing. Yeah. We, we do. Sometimes we have lots of what we call home groups, and sometimes there's the, uh, what's it, this last. Term, but it was the, uh, the spring term. The uh, small groups discussed the morning sun. You know, every, so I preach on Sunday morning, and then they would uh, work on it whenever they met during the following week. That must be rewarding for you. Well, it's good when you think really yeah. working at it. Yeah. Because in, a, in, a, in the context of a sermon, people can't stand up and say, excuse me, I don't understand what you just said. But in a small group, they can. Right. And do they come back to you with questions sometimes? Sometimes. I get emails about things. Do you have lay preachers? Mm, not normally, because they're three of us ministers. Okay. So, uh, and then sometimes we'll have a guest preacher. But on the whole, we're so fairly self-sufficient. <laughs> well, what I will do, I will interview people about their jobs and the, the key challenges they face as Christians, whether they're a banker or a doctor or a teacher or whatever.
and then you would work that into into the speech that, or the sermon that you would give. Right, that's, that's, that's before the song. Okay. Okay, is that enough?